Hey, Phantomaniacs, welcome to the newest unboxing here on the Needless Things YouTube channel. Today, we are looking at the all-new reissued Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Turtle Blimp Wacky Attack Aircraft. Uh, this is very different from the blimp that I had when I was a kid. Uh, I don't know exactly, like right off the bat, I can tell you that this printing is different. This billboard was completely different colors. Uh, there were there was a lot more color on the one that I had. The fins were orange, I think. Orange or red or yellow. Uh, the gondola part down here was, I think, yellow or orange. And again, I don't look this stuff up because what I love about nostalgia re-releases like this is seeing how well they hold up to what I remember. I don't want to go on a website and say, oh, well, this these were brown and uh, this had more of a silver on top and this was yellow, this was red. Like, I want my brain to do the work. You know what I mean? Because that's the whole point of this is does it make me feel like the original toy made me feel? Uh, this one looks awesome but not as colorful, not quite the same. And also the one I had uh, didn't have these uh, grappling hook type deals on it. It had bombs uh, with a trigger right here to drop the bombs. So this is very different too, and I'm curious to see what the functionality is on the toy. Other than that, packaging very similar. Uh, it's a blimp for Ninja Turtles, which is preposterous, but also very toyetic and wonderful. You can see on the side here, well, I'm sure the back has a picture too. Uh, this is something from the newer Ninja Turtles line, not Rise, but the, the one prior to that, which is pretty much my favorite version of the Turtles at this point, aside from the 1990 movie. Uh, all very, very different, but this doesn't look like the same gondola as that one. So I, I don't know where this all came from exactly. I don't know if there was a later reissue of the blimp uh, between the original and whatever's come out now. Uh, these fins are also shaped very differently from the one that I had. Not as much fun, it doesn't look like. Not as much sculpting, uh, don't look as interesting. So, all right, let's see here. Mutant Madness from the Clouds. Now with the incredibly wacky turtle blimp, you can help the turtles patrol for the evil shredder and his band of stinky cohorts, the Foot Clan. Yes, you control the action as the turtles dive into battle from their zappin' zeppelin. That's right, you command the blimp over city skyscrapers and swoop in for sneak attacks with the turtle glider. No leaky batteries or rusty springs, just you and good clean fun. Blueprints included for easy to follow assembly. If you're a know-it-all, toss them. That's kind of funny. Uh, turtles repelling system. So yeah, this is all, uh, you know, blimp wise, the shape and everything is the same. The print on here, while the colors are different, the print is all the same, I believe, but all of the plastic add-on parts are, are different. So let's find out. Let's get our trusty 1964 box cutter. Slice right through that tape and see what we've got inside. Hopefully a blimp. Uh, oh, there we go. <laughs> that would have been that would have been very disappointing if the only parts in here were the parts that I'm not that wild about, like to start with. Uh, so let's see what we've got. First, we're going to cut through these massive plastic ties, or at least we're going to try to. Holy cow! This is, uh, I feel like an unnecessary level of secureness in here for these parts. Like, I, uh, they, they could have rattled around in the box. Really wouldn't have bothered me too much. It's interesting uh, that they have the repelling gear because that was a key component of one of the, I guess, stages of that 2012 Teenage Mutant Ninja, Ninja Turtles line. Uh, they had a lot of things that involved like zip lines and repelling and, and that kind of thing. So this isn't 
out of character for Ninja Turtles in that way. And when I was a kid, this is what I'm interesting to, interested to see. When I was a kid, I might honestly have preferred to have this repelling gear over uh, the bombs that came with the original version. I, I want to see how well it works. But, okay, I like this. I like this coloring. While I do feel like overall there's too much green on this thing. This is definitely... Th I don't think this is the same piece. Because my son has the newer Turtle Blimp. I don't think this is the same piece as that one. Uh, but it's definitely not the same piece uh, as the one I had when I was a kid. So... Uh, we've got the neon green zip line, which is uh, I, I, maybe I would have preferred black, but at the same time, the neon gr the neon green's more toyetic for sure. But this toy has ceased to be something nostalgic, uh, and I'm not quite sure where I was going with that. I guess I guess I was going to say. You know, black would would be more in line with what would have come out in the ninety or in the uh, '80s when this came out, but maybe not. Maybe they would have been like a yellow color uh, if they had done these lines back then. I'm I'm really not too sure. I just know the neon is definitely more '90s or modern. Uh, but very cool. I, I got to say, I think I prefer these to the bombs. I really do. Okay, so you've got. A little system here uh, to belay them. Is that the right word? I think that's the right word. Uh, you've got a nice, pretty reasonably long line going on. Uh, and then you just roll those right back up. So you don't really have to worry about them getting, uh, about them getting tangled up or anything like that. Uh, they'll just hang when not in use. So I'm not going to sit here and reel all of these up in front of you guys. Uh, but you can see right there, it would be nice if there was some kind of hook or something to keep these from dangling. Like if, if they kind of hooked up here like they, like they were in the box. Uh, but they don't, and that's fine. So anyway, you can see the gondola. Tons and tons of sculpting going on here. Nice little turtle shell uh, pattern on the back. I like the yellow paint hits. I like that they didn't just leave this completely unpainted. Uh, the yellow looks really nice. And actually, in a weird way, is reminiscent of the style of the box art on the original toys. How they would kind of just have one overriding color. Uh, so the one I had, I don't believe, had this pivot here. Uh, but like I said, we've already established this is a completely new piece. Uh, let's see here. So we've got the front wheels that look like they go on whichever way you want to put them on and are not, by the way, actually wheels, but I don't care. That's fine. And just snap that into place. And there you go. You've got the, uh, the bottom portion, the gondola right there. We'll just set that aside. Uh, these are, if you want to use them, this is very familiar. This right here is the same type of mechanism that the zipline turtles I was talking about use uh, in the 2012 line. So we're going to have to, I don't think that that just sits like that. Uh, there's probably a better way to connect these. So we'll take a look at the instructions and figure that out. Uh, so we will set aside our turtle belts one more in there. Uh, take a look at the fins. Like I said, the fins are definitely... They've got more detail than it looked like on the box. You've got all the rivets and the panels and everything. They look pretty neat. But definitely less fun looking than the ones I had when I was a kid. Uh, and and the green. Why, you know, why not make them yellow? Ye the yellow would have popped a little better, I think. Uh, but maybe all of this tooling came from one gigantic... Uh, piece and it needed to all be the same color. I don't know what the story was. I wasn't there. Shockingly, I do not work for Playmates. All right. Now 
we're gonna get this blimp out of here we have a vinyl plastic repair kit apparently included with this uh the instructions so attached turtle support clips oh interesting reattachable hooks i don't know why you'd even want to take the hooks off though if that doesn't work that way so these clips actually plug in so they don't lower on the clips they lower on the hooks the clips are literally there so the turtles and their friends can be passengers on this thing so that's cool i'm down with that uh because what i used to do when i was a kid uh the the turtle blimp i had was a very similar setup these pegs right here though uh bombs attached to these and you pulled the trigger and it dropped the bombs and i would actually have the turtles hold on to these pegs which by the way my guess is you press that button and zip just comes right down i'm sorry i was out of this is a tough one to film you guys uh you push that button and it releases the uh ratcheting system that winds up the grappling hooks all right so now it's time for the big business oh wait i guess you can let's see oh okay that'll just drop them down so there you go boy this thing smells pungent you want to talk about new toy smell combine that with new vinyl smell or fresh vinyl smell all right so let's take a look. Oh, much nicer. Okay. I got to tell you right now, this has won me over. Because there is so much more color on this than it looked like there was going to be. Uh, nice. So let me look at the back of the box. Yeah, see? Even compared to the back of the box. So look at that. Versus this wow much more color uh the clarity of the printing on this is fantastic i am really really happy uh with with this design this the blimp portion of this has absolutely won me over it's this is much more reminiscent of what i had when i was a kid i still i think the colors are different, but I think the biggest difference is that the billboard here, I think it actually maybe was white or a, you know, off white or something. But with the amount of color they've got everywhere else, this is gorgeous. So, here's what I've got to do now. I've got to blow this thing up. I'm not going to do that on video because I don't want to embarrass myself or bore you guys. So, uh Hang on just one second, and we'll see what this thing looks like fully inflated and ready to go. Ladies and gentlemen, there it is. That is my life, my breath. I used my powerful manly lungs to fill up this turtle blimp, this wacky Zeppelin for your entertainment. No pumps here. We do it the old-fashioned way. Lips to, to inflating nozzle, blew that thing up. And while I did it, uh, I went upstairs and took a look at my son's 2012 Turtles blimp. Uh, it, it's from that series. I don't think it came out in 2012, but it's from that line. And turns out that this gondola is exactly the same but you can take a look at this picture right here and you can see that same gondola wildly different blimp uh I, I like both versions for different reasons and while i honestly would have preferred the original i it probably doesn't exist anymore i gotta think playmates would have used it uh if it did still exist so let's see, as I was blowing this thing up, I kind of remembered like, oh, is it a little difficult to put all the parts on with it fully inflated? Because I think you have to kind of get under 
like to push these little pieces here and you can't do it when the blimp is inflated. So I think what I'm going to have to do is uh, let a little bit of my, my life's breath, my essence out of this thing uh, to give a little, a little play to get everything attached. All right, let's see if that's enough. Plug that back up. And by the way, all of this feels uh, sturdier than I remember mine feeling, and it looks sturdier than the newer version for sure. All right, let's see here. So see, you have to kind of like pinch underneath there so you can get the pressure to push that little plug in place. So it's kind of tricky. So you can't do all of this with the blimp fully inflated. It might be hard enough to do it. Uh, with, oh boy. So this might be one of those things that I do not do on camera uh, in order to not bore you guys. So we're going to take another little break here. I'm going to get everything attached and then we'll come back and take a look at the assembled Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Wacky Turtle Blimp. And we are back. I just had to run upstairs to borrow uh, my son's bracket to hold the cell phone onto my tripod uh, because mine exploded unexpectedly. I guess you never really expect anything to explode. Uh, so my tip to you guys, if you wish to own your own turtle blimp, is in if you want to inflate it before you put all the stuff on it, which isn't really necessary, uh, don't inflate it more than about halfway because it's very difficult to get those little tabs through there if you don't have tons of play with this to be able to go behind and sort of push the tab through. Uh, so probably attach all this stuff before you inflate it at all, uh, but don't inflate it more than halfway. But everything looks great. Uh, I, this is a wonderful toy. What a great design. It doesn't hit my nostalgia buttons as much as I'd like because of this new piece, which don't get me wrong, this isn't bad, uh, but it's not what I had uh, when I was a kid. Same thing with the fins. Uh, and I do wish, honestly, color-wise, they should have gone with the yellowish, yellowish orange or whatever for the, the add-on pieces, and I think the whole thing would look so much better. It would make me much happier, I believe, this was like a light orange, and maybe these parts were red, possibly. That sounds right to me. Uh, but whatever the case, it's still a really cool toy. Uh, it's still something that I think anybody would be happy to find on Christmas morning or for a birthday or whatever the occasion may be. Uh, I'm going to dismount my phone here so you can actually see the whole thing. So I went and got that bracket for nothing. Uh, so there's the, the fullest view I can give you. Uh, of the new retro Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles blimp. Uh, I think it's a lot of fun. I think, like I said, my guess is that... Uh, there we go. My guess is that these parts don't exist for the original anymore, and they're certainly not going to make new ones. Uh, so this is what we get, and by my standards, uh, it works. I don't love it as much as I love the party wagon, but it's cool. Oh, and it has... No hang tabs. Uh, one cool feature of the newer blimp is that it had a big hang tab on the top. And I'll actually be uh, putting a picture of that full thing up right here. Uh, so you can see there's a big hang tab on the top of that one. This one uh, does not have them, despite the fact... Let's push this back out of the way here. That on the box... It very clearly shows mounting support. So that's a fail too. Uh, in that, it's going to be much more difficult to hang this guy from the ceiling, which was my original plan. Now I think I can still do fishing line like around the middle part here, and it's not heavy at all. Uh, but there you go. Uh, you know what? Let's uh, Before I say there you go, one more time, let's take a closer look now that it's inflated and you can see everything. Which, by the way, it never made sense to me that a blimp had like a cockpit and an access door on it. Or a billboard, for that matter. 
but it's all just wonderful art, great design. It's a fun toy. And I think at the end of the day, isn't that the bottom line? I believe the other side is all just the same stuff printed again. So just a, a really great fun toy. Definitely a throwback. Not quite the nostalgia kick that I thought it was going to be or that I wanted. But uh, still, really cool piece that you can find maybe in Walmart now. Thanks for watching, you guys. Uh, Cowabunga! Please like, subscribe, share, tell your friends about Needless Things. Smash that like button if you like Needless Things.